Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark again, Nuts for Art. I'm going to do a quick reading um, from our book, Poison Power, uh, The Case Against Nuclear Power Plants by Drs. John Goffman and Dr. Arthur Tamplin. We are at the bottom of the page of 159. I'm going to take my glasses off. This is just going to be a quick reading. I'm not going to read very far. The combination of these things indicates that we really do not know how these reactors will operate as they begin to age and as their fuel rods begin to age. We're learning, aren't we? It may well be that the natural aging process of the reactor, variations in quality control, and operator errors will cause it to creep up to the maximum permissible concentrations that are presently allowed by the AEC. They might even exceed those. Since nuclear power reactors are being proposed at a rate which indicates they will be supplying a very substantial fraction of our future electrical power needs, we will be presented with a fail complete in the future. Even if these reactors do not operate at their design specifications, it will be difficult to shut them down because we need the power. If we shut them down, sizable sections of the country will experience periods of brownouts. That is a lie. We might therefore be forced to live with whatever radioactive emissions the reactor requires. No, not true. Once we have made a very sizable commitment to the nuclear-generated power, we must face the fact that we will be stuck with the commitment. Hence, the media ignoring St. Louis. The discussion above indicates that the present generation of reactors is no more than an experiment. The public is told that the guidelines are safe, but they are not safe. The public is told that the radioactive emissions will, only, will be only 1% of the guidelines. This is the design objective. An objective of the AEC commissioners are not in the least, are not in the least certain will be met meaning they're not going to be met. However, that's a weird way to write the sentence. The AEC is adhering to its guidelines in order not to inhibit the development of, of the nuclear power industry by engineering operational or quality control failures. What the fuck? Quality control failures? Yeah, that's fucking catastrophic. The public is simply required to take the risk inherent in this cushion. Oh my goodness. Ac new subtitle, Accidents in Present Day Reactors. In addition to the uncertainties in the day-to-day -day release, uncertainties exist about chances for a major accident, like Fukushima, you guys. Dr. Walter H. Jordan, or actually, you know what, maybe St. Louis, because by Christmas we're going to see that place on fire. I don't think they're stopping it. Dr. Walter H. Jordan, assistant director of the Oak Ridge National Laboratory and a member of one of the AEC's reactor safety boards, stated in a recent article in Physics Today. Now remember, this is 1982. I think that's when this book was written. Oh, 71. Okay. <clears throat> Dr. Walter H. Jordan, assistant director of the Oak Ridge National Laboratory and a member of one of the AEC's reactor safety boards, stated in a recent article in Physics Today, quote, The important question still remains. Have we succeeded in reducing the risk to a tolerable level, that is, something less than one chance in 10,000 that a reactor will have a serious accident in a year. Have we succeeded in reducing the hazard to such a low level? There is no way to prove it. We have accumulated so far some 100 reactors, 
reactor years of accident-free operation in commercial nuclear electric power stations in the U.S. This is a long way from the 10,000, so it does not tell us much. The only way we will know what the odds really are is by continuing to accumulate experience in operating reactors. There is some risk, but it is certainly worth it. Wow, this is where he's going to tell us. This is his uh, thing. It says, Walter H. Jordan, Nuclear Energy, Benefits versus the Risk, Physics Today, May 30, pages 32 to 38, 1970. Man, hold on. I got to put a star on that one. I got to look that one up. That's where it came from. This rat, Dr. Walter H. Jordan. How, are sa how safe are nuclear reactors? Let us quote from the consulting engineer. Okay. Unquote, okay? So this is Goffman and Tamplin. How safe are nuclear reactors? Let us quote from the consulting e engineer Adolf Ackerman, 1N. Quote, as an independent consulting engineer, I have been active for many years in alerting the engineering profession to its overriding responsibility in design and construction of safe atomic power plants. The simple fact is that none of the atomic power plants currently in operation or under construction have been designed with the traditional concepts of engineering responsibility and ethical commitment for maximum public safety, unquote. It says personal communication also. Wow. Mr. Ackerman spelled out his reasons for this statement quite clearly in a recent article. Professor Robert L. Whitelaw of the Virginia Polytechnic Institute and formerly project engineer for the design and construction of the power plant for the nuclear ship NS Savannah commented on this paper by Ackerman in the IEEE Transactions of Aerospace and Electronic Systems, Volume AES-5, Number 3, May 1969. Quote, I wish to endorse fully the principal argument advanced by A.J. Ackerman in his paper and perhaps strengthen the impact of his paper with this brief discussion. His principal argument has been confirmed by my own experience in the past 15 years on nuclear projects and problems of various kinds. This experience included preparing proposals and nuclear hazard evaluations in a variety of nuclear power plants, both commercial and military. It has been my observation that despite the enormous amount of meticulous detail which the ACRs require, regularly require on every projected power plant to satisfy itself that there is no, quote, credible accident, unquote, that can threaten the public or even its operators, and despite the volumes of paper and hours of presentations consumed on this topic, and no doubt well-intentioned, there is still some common consent of un uh, consent and unwritten agreement to treat as quote incredible end quote the most fearful of all nuclear accidents that can occur in any such plant with a highly pressurized primary system. I need a glass of water. Such an accident is, of course the explosive rupture of the primary vessel itself, Fukushima, which is ruled out of the list of credible accidents for the simple reason that there is no adequate answer short of putting the plant underground or inside a mountain, as Ackerman has pointed out, unquote. I'm going to stop here. We're at the end of page 162. I will probably post this tomorrow after my radio show. Um, I don't know if Dana Durnford will be on my radio show, 
We initially canceled the radio show thinking that he should keep his trap shut, but then he was on rent. So I sent him a message and asked him if he wanted to be on. If not, he'll be on my radio show in a few weeks. But uh, I'll end here. Put your courage feet on, you guys. Let's get your own education. Please read about the facts. Read the science. Ciao, you guys. Put your courage feet on.